Hello everyone, this is Mario, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the final stage of the Tour de Suisse 2019 in Pro Cycling Manager. Today the riders face an absolute monster of a stage with three HC category climbs where only the pure climbers will feel really comfortable. The stage is not very long, it's only 141 kilometers long, starting and finishing in gums and with such a hard route today, I will just try to do my best and play it defensively with Rui Costa so he doesn't lose uh, 58 seconds for Geraint Thomas, which is the lead he currently has in the GC. So the riders are now departing from Gums. Um, Rui Costa is not having the best race day condition he could have. He's having a zero uh, race day condition today. I was expecting better, um, but well, it is what it is, and let's hope that Garen Thomas is not having a super day and that we can keep the lead in the GC. So the pace has been really strong in the early kilometers of this stage. Um, some riders are trying to attack to go in the breakaway, but the peloton is not allowing them to do that. And actually, I got my riders a bit um, dropped in the peloton. They are now trying to go back to the front. But yeah, I was expecting to have a breakaway set uh, by now. But no riders are ahead of the peloton. So we finally had some riders um, going in the breakaway. And now the peloton is not uh, pursuing them. The front riders already have 4 minutes lead over the peloton. We have 15 riders here. And then plus 6 that are just about to uh, join. And Sicard is attacking for the KOM points. Is that it? But it was a really lame attack. Yukarty is now the one going for the points. He's not a big threat um, to the mountain classification. And he's actually the only one trying to attack. We now have three Dimension Data riders attacking. Ben King, Michael Valgren and Tom Yelteslater. All of them are attacking at the same time. And now the Movistar Riders also attacking. So in the breakaway, we have uh, Hugh Carty, Mark Soler, Tom Yelteslachter, Michael Valgren, Ben King, Matthias Frank, Kasper Asgren, Steve Moravito, uh, Matej Mohoric, also Fabio Fellini. Um, we also have Tish Benut here, Nicola Conchi. Lawson Craddock, Kuhn Bowman, uh, who else is here? Simon Spilak, um, Merawi Kudus, Jan Hirt, Carlos Butancourt, and Andre Zeitz. I think I didn't miss anyone. There is another one behind, is um, Sikar. He was the one launching the attack for the KOM points. So the riders in the breakaway are now about 80 kilometers away from the finish line. Their lead dramatically decreased. It's now under three minutes. We have Team Ineos pacing really hard at the front of the peloton. Um, actually, Tom Bolli, Bistrom and Manuele Mori are already out of energy right now. Um, so I will put Sergio now protecting Rui Costa um, in the remaining um, in the remaining kilometers of the Susten Pass. This is a 17.4 kilometer long climb at an average of 7.5%. So it's really massive. It's Kenny Ellison um, pacing at the front of the peloton. The pace is really, really strong. We have still several Ineos riders in this group in the front working for Geraint Thomas. So let's just try to survive with Rui Costa. So we have the riders in the breakaway a little over three minutes ahead of the peloton. They are two kilometers away from the top of the Susten Pass. Um, let's see who is going to attack for KOM points. The men from Ashtana and Dimension Data are in the front of the group and it's Dimension Data trying to attack with Ben King followed by Michael Valgren and Tom Yelta Slater. Dimension Data is really trying to go for this one. Let's see if they get the points here. If Ben King manages to get the points. 
and he does he's the first one at the top of this climb but andy now is tied with rui costa ben king might take the mountain jersey so the peloton has now finished the downhill from the sustain pass um, they are starting the final climb of this race the grimsel pass let's see if team ineos is again going to put a strong pace early on in the climb and try to pay attention to that so we don't get um, dropped so we have team ineos again pacing at the front of the group and egan bernal is going with garen thomas they are trying an attack um, at this moment so let's use the energy gel on sergio and now already and soon i will have to put fabio aru protecting rui costa Let's try not to let Ernal, um, Bernal and Thomas get away. This is a really critical moment. In this peloton, we are still 8.3 kilometers away from the top of the climb. And it's not being easy. Let's put Fabio Aru now protecting um, Rui Costa. Sergio Ernal is done for the day. And Aru will also soon be out of energy. Bernal and Thomas are really strong. They are too strong. There's really nothing I can do. We still have Wilco Kelderman and Patrick Conrad here. We are catching the breakaway riders. Fabio Aru is already out of energy as well. Let's try to follow this uh, in this group with Kelderman, Thomas and Bernal but still five kilometers to go and Rui Costa is almost out of energy. I cannot keep up with this pace. Oh, this is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. I'm not going to be able to keep the yellow jersey. Thomas and Bernal are simply too strong. I'm back with Wilco Kelderman. Karen Thomas is one minute and 20 ahead already. And Rui Costa is out of energy. This is not going to be good. Unless I gain some time back on the downhill, I won't be able to keep the yellow jersey in Rui Costa. This is so disappointing. Thomas and Bernal are simply unbeatable. And Bernal is the first one in the top of the climb. He actually takes the mountain classification from Rui Costa. Let's try to pace a bit now and recover some energy now in the downhill and then try to get back in the final few flat kilometers. So there's really not much that I can do with Rui Costa. Egan Bernal and Geraint Thomas are one and a half minutes ahead of um, Rui Costa. Let's try to increase the pace a bit, but I won't be able to decrease the lead. And so the riders are sprinting for the win. It's going to be Ben King, or who is going to take the stage win? And Gary Thomas wins the stage. And the worst thing is actually that Rui Costa is going to lose the yellow jersey is one minute and 40 seconds behind. He loses the lead in the GC in the final stage to Gary Thomas. Oh, that's disappointing. But this stage was, I mean, it, only a climber, as I said in the beginning, only the pure climbers would be comfortable in this stage. So Gary Thomas took the stage win in the final day of the Tour de Suisse. And he also took the yellow jersey from Rui Costa, who lost over one and a half minutes today. So Garen Thomas wins the stage. He finishes one minute and 42 ahead of Rui Costa. He was only 58 seconds behind the Portuguese. So this means that Garen Thomas is the winner of the 2019 Tour de Suisse. Rui Costa gets second. 
which is actually a lot better than I was expecting. I was simply aiming at the top five finish and got second with Rui Costa, ahead of Egan Bernal in third. Egan Bernal took the mountain classification. He was two points ahead of Rui Costa in the end. And Geraint Thomas, also by two points, took the points jersey from Rui Costa. So everything went wrong in this final stage. Rui Costa was leaving the three classifications, and in the end, he got none. Of course, the best young rider, Egan Bernal. And to take it all, Team Ineos also takes the team classification. So, as expected, this final stage was really tough. Um, Rui Costa, he did well. It was a good performance by him. I don't think I could have done anything much better. But Thomas and Bernal, working together, are simply unbeatable. So in the end, in the GC, Geraint Thomas uh, takes the win ahead of Rui Costa. A second place with Rui Costa here is absolutely magnificent, I think. It's a really nice result. He was ahead of um, much stronger riders like Egan Bernal, even Enric Mas. So it's a really good performance. Of course, it's disappointing to lose uh, everything in the final stage. And when I say everything, it's really everything because Geraint Thomas took the GC and the points classification. Egan Bernal took the mountain classification and the young rider classification. And Team Ineos was the best team uh, in this race. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I could have taken three classifications with Rui Costa. And in the end, Team Ineos took everything. They were clearly the stronger team in this race. So being second is not that bad um, when we consider how strong Ineos is. I think that in the GC, the biggest disappointment was Marc Soler. He was only 18th. Also, I was expecting more from Enric Mas. He only got 10th. I also expected more from Wilco Kelderman. He was only fifth, six minutes behind, so it's a big, big gap. As for my other riders, Sergio Anau was in the top 20, he was 19th, and Fabio Aru was 23rd. I also managed to take two stage wins with Rui Costa, uh, two good wins, especially the one in stage six. I think it was really impressive. Um, so it was, I think it was a nice race with uh, Team Emirates, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. So this was probably my final race in Pro Cycling Manager 2018. The 2019 version will come out on the 27th of June. And I think the next race I will do is a Tour de France playthrough. And I will do that in Pro Cycling Manager 2019. I also plan to make a series of a career mode in the next uh, Pro Cycling Manager. So I'm really excited about that. And so if you have enjoyed this race and this stage in particular, please like my video. Also, please comment below on what you think I should have done better. Um, where do you think I failed with Rui Costa today? And also, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your support and I hope to see you all soon in Pro Cycling Manager 2019. Bye!